What happens if you have a scenario where the discount scheme that you're running in your store is fairly complex? On one side, you want to trigger discounts based on time or a certain given schedule, you know, happy hour Tuesdays and things of that sort. Uh, and on the other hand, you have discounts that need to be manually triggered by people uh, in a given situation. You know, senior citizen discount, uh, a discount to military folks, or whatever it is that you are supporting with the use of discounts in your business. And so with our solutions, we are offering discount scheduler, which is an app that basically handles the, the scheduled triggers for the discounts. And these things you can set up on a recurring basis or as a one-time basis, but you can literally sit down and schedule all of your discounts. This app works well with inventory set that's high in numbers. So, you know, if you have inventory items of 10,000 and more, uh, this is definitely an app for you to, to consider. It works well uh, as well with the uh, manual discounts. Manual discounts is where you set up the discounts that uh, you need and then you allow the clerk that's doing the checkout uh, to process the, uh, the, the, the discounts during the checkout if, if, if such need arises. And there are also built-in mechanisms that will prevent from double discounting. And so whatever you set up on one app and the other app, and when you're running them both in concert, they will both prevent the clerk from discounting the customer on a single item more than one time. So the discount scheduler will ask you to choose a discount if it's being doubled, and the manual discounts will simply not allow you to discount an item that's already been discounted. So let me show you how that works in practice. All right, so to demonstrate how the two apps will work in concert, I've uh, set up some discounts that will trigger because today is a Friday. And also we have some discounts that can be given uh, during the transaction uh, if the clerk decides to give the discount. So I'm gonna grab this item. I know it will trigger a discount. So there's a discount that triggered automatically for 10 cents because it's a Friday 10% off. Uh, for a dollar off, right? And then now we go to pay screen. And from pay screen, we have an ability to discount against what we have in the shopping cart by hitting this issue a discount, hitting this FDR discount. And um, see, it says it returned an error because discounting items already have been discounted, so you cannot double discount. But let's go ahead and go back and put some other item in here that doesn't have the triggered discount, like Sakai uh, Salmon here. Now I'm gonna go to pay, hit issue discount, choose the discount, and it's letting me apply the discount that I have in my item, uh, in my shopping cart, right, manually, and it's only showing me an item that I can discount, and it's hiding the item that's already been discounted before, like so. And so this is basically the way that it functions. Now, let me show you how it's set up. Manual discounts, so it's already set up. I'm just gonna hit on edit here. This is where we control the button name, right? So this shows up on the customer payment screen and the, the button name also is controlled by us right here. And then right here, the predefined discount is where we can enter whatever discounts we'd like. Here's another one, test V, why not? Yeah, and let's make this discount uh, 4%, right? And uh, this can be percentage off, dollar amount off, or override. So let's go ahead and use percentage off. Add, and now there's two discounts on the list. And so those two discounts will show up as discounts uh, when you're trying to do the transaction. So let's go back here and let's go to, actually, let's add another item. Nope, we already had this one. How about this one? So here's another item and the button now, see how there's two discounts and you can choose this one and it will only allow you to apply it to the item that has not yet been discounted. Like so, apply discount and now you can go, go on and, and, and pay for this transaction. Um, and that's how the, the manual discount is set up. And the discount scheduler, is set up this way. Let me show you. There it is. So the one that's triggering is the one that's active right now, and I'm gonna edit. So we gave it a name. We said that it's an all day event, and it happens on a Friday, right? So we pick the date that it happens. 
there's also an option to set this thing up on a recurring basis, uh, but we just kind of did it for one time. We indicated that it was 10% discount and selected the items for which it needs to be triggered. And that's basically the setup. Hopefully this helps. Thank you.